we need 10 or 11 dimensions, only three of which, or four if you include time, that we, we have. And so there, there are as many as six smaller dimensions. And, and what's happening in those dimensions? Why do you need six in string theory? Well, today we see the world as is very broken. <clears throat> we see pieces of it. But at the beginning of time, when the universe was first created, that's when the crystal existed in its perfect form. Mm -hmm. We call it the superforce. A single superforce held this crystal together. But then we had the Big Bang, which shattered this crystal, giving us the shattered universe of today. When you look around you and you see the different forces, mountains, clouds, planets, it's broken. We live in a horribly broken world. But at the instant of creation, there was perfection. There was perfection in a higher dimension. This perfection cannot exist in three dimensions. Now, some people say, well, why 10? Why 11? Well, it turns out that there are certain magic numbers in mathematics, and numbers which have spectacular properties. It turns out that if you go to a 13-dimensional universe, a 15-dimensional universe, it's unstable. Particles would prefer to collapse down to 10 or 11 mm. dimensions because the mathematics shows that self-consistency is important. They're unstable. Universes in, in 29 dimensions are simply unstable. 